You're back just in time to tell us about the great spy scandal that erupted this week. If we were writing a fictional story, this would have Inspector Clouseau bumbling around, and you'd have the denouement. Someone found out that there's been at the heart of American politics and culture for the last 20 years, they've been stealing us blind, okay? That's, that's the one side of it. The truth is, what we've got here is a really remarkable situation. The Cox Committee, Christopher Cox, Republican from California, finally produced his report this week, and it does have some very disturbing, in fact, shocking news in it. They allege that the Chinese, through an espionage, have taken America's nuclear secrets over the seven major nuclear weapons programs and taken that information, stole it, espionage, number one. Not only that, but they've also had material about all the warheads that are now on top of America's missiles. They, they've got that. Uh, that's not the worst of it, then you go on from there. The neutron bomb, you remember the neutron bomb came up. Uh, they've, they've got information on enhancing that. They've got, uh, they got out of this uh, operation intelligence about uh, guided missiles and submarines and satellites over there that are so part of intelligence today. And th the worst part of it, Paul, may be that this took place for 20 years under every administration from Jimmy Carter to Ronald Reagan George Bush, and up until right now, Mr. Clinton. And not only that, there were warnings all over the place about that there was espionage, and it took place in the laboratories over which the government was um, responsible for keeping security over our most treasured secrets. And uh, if there's any reason why people doubt about whether the government works well, this is another mark for cynicism about the functioning of the federal government. Now, Haynes, you and I go back a long time in this town, yes, and you've covered many, many spy stories in the past. How does this one deal with those of the past? Well, Paul, what we're talking about here is, is the new age and the old age. I mean, when we came to Washington and you had the Alger Hiss and the pumpkin papers and you had the cloak and the dagger, the human beings uh, breaking in and cutouts and, and James Bond daring do and, and you'd, you'd have covert operations and assassination plots, you, you'd uncover those through human intelligence. That's not the world that exists now, as Tom's new book makes so clear. We're in, we're in cyberspace. Uh, that's what this story is about. It's about technology. It's about science. It's about computers. It's about, it's about the secrets that, that human beings, geniuses, have produced in, in theorems, and, and, and there it is, and it's locked in these machines. That's where intelligence is now. These are the great spy stories now. It's how you control the technology and the scientific material, or can you really? Totally James, with, with all the secrets that have been stolen here, how much more threatened are we today from China than we that's, were 10, 15 that, years ago? That's the critical point. If, if we were talking about uh, the Manhattan Project, which produced the atomic bomb, and we had the Alger Hiss case, and the Rosenbergs who were executed later 40, 50 years ago at that time, they gave the secrets to the Russians who could then have the bomb that could blow us up, and we were about to be poised in this nuclear world and incineration. Right. China's that's been not, a nuclear power for 35 exactly. years. Exactly. Yeah. They've, had, they've had nuclear weapons, yeah. and in fact, there is no prospect at this moment, as we said, anybody who's terrified, uh, that we are no more threatened today than we were last week or a year ago or five years ago from this process. The United States has overwhelming uh, power six to seven thousand of these nuclear weapons. China may have a, a dozen or two dozen at most. Uh, they are not deploying these weapons at this point. They may later on with this technology. So that isn't the threat. There is a danger of how they will use the information they have in the future. Will it make them more powerful in Asia? Does it affect Taiwan? Uh, do they use the, do they give the technology to uh, rogue states like North Korea uh, and, and the rest? That's a really, or Iraq or Iran. Those are real questions. The, the, the nuclear nuclear race is not ending with this century. It may in, it may intensify down the road. But this is not a threat that is going to put us into shelters again. You, you made the point that this has been going on. The spying has been going on for 20 years. Yet you don't hear many people blaming Ronald Reagan. No. President Clinton's the one who's taking the blame. And what what are the what are the politics well, the, there? Well, the politics. We are going to see a replay in this next election. You can see it already already started this week. There are people today uh, actually saying this is treason. 
traitors, that their that their people should be fired, that the Attorney General Janet Reno should be dismissed, that the National Security Advisor was woefully remiss in this his whole standing on this thing. And that's where we are. The politics is going to be that this administration was the weak administration. It wasn't minding the store. It was given to scandal, and it it allowed these things to take place on their watch. And you hopefully. You just forget the past, you focus on the present. And one of the things that's so complicated in this process is our relationship to trade. We have 1.3 billion, billion Chinese right. in the world, and here we are, that's a great market. It has been a dream throughout American history, this endless market in China. And now, in fact, that's one of the reasons that this spy case well, developed the, the way it did, because are, you, need the, you need those markets. The Republicans, you really see that issue, yeah. Haynes, in looking at the Republican Party right. today. On one hand, boy, they want to, as you said, and Paul said, they want to beat the drum here and Right. Make this a huge political issue. Meanwhile, Boeing is calling them up. Yeah, Meanwhile, all the you know, the business roundtable is calling them up. They're traditional funders and supporters and saying, "Hey, we want this relationship." Right. That's not. That doesn't mean we should turn a blind eye to this. But it's going to be. You know, that's the the issue. The Republicans are going to have to yeah. to balance here.